I got my horror spurt ready, so let's go ahead and talk about some horror movies, you guys. They Come Knocking is a new Hulu horror original, I guess you could call it. And I'm going to go ahead and just say I'm trying to save you guys from this movie. Because actually, in my opinion, this horror movie is the worst type of horror movie. This movie takes itself extremely seriously. Like, excruciatingly seriously. Like, horribly seriously. And the problem with it is, is that you can make a movie serious. That's not my problem. The problem is that in this particular horror movie, there's no meaningful dialogue. There's no budget. There's no acting chops. The mo movie is boring. So when you make a movie that shitty, and then you try to make it super serious... It, it, it makes it, like, not even fun to watch. Like, you can't even, like, poke fun at it. I'm a simple dude. I really like corny movies and stuff like that. I like movies that are even bad that you can make fun of. I love the first Mortal Kombat movie. I mean, Mortal Kombat, per se, it, I mean, I guess you could say it's a good movie, but, I mean, the acting's not that great. The budget's kind of strange. It's really, really corny. But I still like it. It's one of those guilty pleasure movies that I like to watch. I also like uh, The Evil Dead. I'm a super huge fan of The Evil Dead. And The Evil Dead is not scary. It's not serious. I mean, the guy, like, runs around at a certain point uh, with a, a head attached to his hand, screaming the whole way as he chops his own arm off. I mean, come on. It's goofy. But still, I like it. Because they, they, they don't take itself too seriously. They try to be happy about it. They try to be funny and poke fun of the horror genre. I mean, I'm okay with that. I'm fine with that. Same thing with uh, Mortal Kombat. They're fighting movies, but they're po poking fun at the horror... Not the horror... The uh, fighting genre, you know what I mean? So, it, it just if you try to make it at a certain level of fun, I'm okay with it. I'll watch the movie and enjoy it. Like, this movie is so boring and so serious that you can't even, like, have a margarita in your hand, sit down on the couch with a bunch of friends, and drink it, take some, you know, some alcohol back, and actually even enjoy the movie. You can't even do it that way. It's not like Batman and Robin Forever. That, like, that, that movie was bad, you know? But... You get the alcohol going around with people, you can have a great time just poking fun of that movie. It's, it's amazing when you do that. You can't even do that with this movie. They Come Knocking is about a family, a father and two daughters, that go ahead and go on a road trip. They go on a road trip to spread the ashes of their recently deceased mother. The father decides to spread the ashes in the exact location where he proposed to his wife, his recently deceased wife. And it happens to be out in the middle of nowhere, in a desert somewhere. It's almost like on the borders of Mexico. It's really weird, but they decide to go there anyways with their daughter and in their little camper, I guess you'd say. But I, I didn't really buy that even in the beginning. I was like, okay, so they just proposed out in the middle of nowhere. That's kind of inconvenient for everyone. <laughs> so in their camper, they decide to just, they're, they're going to bed. It's nighttime. It's probably like two o'clock in the morning. And then they come knocking. See what I did there? <laughs> Who are they, you ask? I can't tell you. I have no clue. They, the they or whatever, I guess they're like ghost children? But they never really discuss that in the movie, and they never really come to a conclusion on why they're even there, these, these ghost children. And it doesn't make any sense. Like, I can't even tell you who they are. Are they ghosts? I don't know. Are they phantoms? I don't know. Are they demons? I don't know. Are they children? Are they real children? I don't know. Can't explain it to you. Couldn't tell you, even if I tried. But I can't explain, like what they look like. They, they look like punk skater kids. They have like the, the black hoodie on. Their faces are a little messed up looking, but they're not that scary. They're like yay tall. And I'm not even that tall. I'm 5'6". So I mean, they're like yay tall. Like you could like just kick them. You know what I mean? They're this tall. They have like a uh, just sweatpants, sweat hoodie on. They look like they're wearing Converse's. Like they, they look like skater punk kids. Like you could just start wailing on these children. Like they, they don't even have a weapon. Like, I don't know. How am I supposed to be afraid when two feet tall kids are coming at me with no weapon? I don't know. You end up figuring out later that these children are actually like spirits or I don't know. They're, they're some sort of magical being, basically, where they can teleport, kind of like uh, Jason Voorhees. He just kind of teleports to places. So they can teleport too. They can also, I guess you'd say multiply. They're, they can have a bunch of them. They can all disappear. They can uh, cause hallucinations, and they can also, uh, I guess you could say, read your mind and kind of, like, provoke you with, like, memories of their dead mother, you know what I mean? And if that all seems really cliche to you, it's because it really, really is cliche. <laughs> so I could get into more spoiler kind of territory, but that's just the movie, is that there's ghosts that are uh, attacking these people in a camper. 
and they're trying to survive. Now, there's even more cliche stuff that I almost want to talk about later because it's so it, it's so infuriating how bad it is that I almost want to spoil it for you because I, I know after you guys listen to this review, you guys don't want to watch this movie. But I'm going to leave it to you at that. This movie is just really bad. It's super cliche. The storyline doesn't make any sense. They try to be super serious and try to, like, uh, gouge your heartstrings uh, about the mother dying or whatever, and they're trying to spread the ashes. But the characters are so badly acted that you just don't give a shit about anybody. Like, you don't care about the dad. At a point in the movie, I was like, I kind of like these ghost creatures. I wish they could just, just kill all these people, just end the movie right here. But... The movie's so bad, I would give this movie, at least in my opinion, when it comes to a rating. As I said before, the rating's going to be A to F, but then a Z at the top, that's for like the best of the best, because I'm the best. You guys know what I'm talking about. This movie, I'm probably going to give, I'm actually going to give it an F, to be honest. F. It, it bored me to tears. Like, I could not, I, I was sitting there trying to, I have ADD, so it's hard for me to like sit in, like, in one place, unless it's a really good film. And this movie, I, I was walking back and forth to the kitchen trying to find food just so I could entertain myself, either just to eat. I, I was playing, I was playing uh, uh, with my phone the entire movie. It was hard for me to even review this movie. I had to go back and watch it a second time because I was like, I could, I, I, I tried to blank out most of this movie. It was so bad. It was so boring, so tedious, it was so serious. And you guys, like, I'm trying to save you from this movie. Please do not watch this movie. It's probably on the front page of Hulu right now. They're trying to advertise it to you guys to get you guys to watch it. Do not waste your time. I am trying to save you guys, so please, please, for the love of God, do not watch this movie. It's basically sucking at, like, two hours of your life. It's actually kind of decently long, too, for such a shit movie. So please, I am begging you, do not watch it. But that's where I come in. I'm here to watch the shit movies that you guys don't have to watch, and I review, review them for you so you don't have to go through the tedious of watching them talk about their dead mom for 30 minutes, okay? So thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe if you like. Uh, I, I, I did not enjoy this movie. Um, I hope you guys are uh, like me for having to put my time and effort into watching such shit stuff so you guys don't have to watch it yourself. Thank you guys so much, and goodbye. See ya. Bye.